The Blue Mountains is known as one of the largest locations for Yowie sightings in Australia, with reports being consistent since the early to mid 1800s. The gateway to the top of the mountains was discovered by Blacksland, Wentworth and Lawson in 1813. It was called the Blue Mountains due to the aerosol particle waves in the atmosphere, which creates a look of a blue hue from a distance. The traditional landowners are the Gundungurra people, whose dreamtime tale of the Mirrigan and Garangach told of a half fish and half reptile that fought an epic battle that created the deep valleys and high escarpments within the Blue Mountains. The largest areas for sightings are of course the locations with the most human inhabitants. Glenbrook and Blacksland, Yellow Rock to Wimalee, numerous reports from Springwood, Linden, Hazelbrook and Lawson, Bowen, Carajong, Colo and Bilpin, and to the west from Wentworth, Katoomba, Lithgow, Janolan, Vulcan and Sunny Corner. The sightings in this region are too vast and too numerous to list them. You get the picture. To the north is Nunes, a location of an audio recording sent to us in March of 2019. Two young men in the small hours of the night were confronted by a being trying to conceal itself in the bushes, nearly 10 feet tall and 4 feet across the chest. They were stalked through the bush and into the old Nunes glowworm tunnel, where one of the boys used his phone recorder when it began grunting. Take a listen. When they realised what it was, they ran an entire two kilometres all the way back to their car. A contact of mine specialised in the primate department of the Taronga Zoo and is well versed in both primate behaviours and sounds. After listening to this audio, Jennifer states, gorillas make that exact same sharp bark noise if threatened and it's something I've seen and heard firsthand." it's more than likely it came from a large hominid. From Newnes, we skip across the valley to the location of today's report, where a couple of horseback riders had a dramatic encounter which left one of them with broken ribs, collarbone and some nasty grazing. And perhaps a little mental scar. They got in touch with us on September 20, 2006. The interview was shot three days later. And before somebody says it, keep in mind only half the world had phones with the camera in 2006. It's here where I'll hand you over to Paul Cropper as I say, Welcome to the Megalong Valley. You're talking about an incident that happened uh, on Tuesday this week. Yeah. And uh, you were up horse riding? Yeah. W where was the place you were horse riding? Um, very, very trail rides up at uh, Megalong Valley. Yeah. yeah. What time did you get there? Uh, about 11.30. Yeah, but, uh, about 12. 12.30, because we stopped and had lunch for about half an hour, an hour. Okay, and what time the, tri the ride started? What about? Um... One fifteen two. And how many people were in the... the... The, uh, group. It was a trail rider, um, another girl we didn't know, my friend Sarah, me and Brendan, my husband. Okay, and um, you were in a you were in a line or? Yep, um, it went from the tr the leader to this other girl, my f uh, no Brendan, Sarah, and then me. Do you remember what particular trail they took you on? No, no, but it there was, was a pretty whole close. Lot of them, yeah. yeah, and um, the incident that happened. I mean, how long into the ride was that? But we only had an hour. I think it was an hour. Yeah. yeah. But was it how long into after you'd started? Oh, okay. So probably about uh, five, ten minutes. So you weren't very far from the actual no, place no. itself. Okay. And uh, uh, the the sort of country that was. I mean, you actually could you see a long distance where you were? Yeah. Or? You could see a long distance if you looked. 
um, like you'd, you'd move along and you could see like uh, maybe a gap in the trees and you'd see heaps further. Yeah. Or sometimes there wouldn't be a gap in the trees and you'd only see like 10, 15 metres in front of you. Oh, okay. And uh, was it uh, steep country or was it kind of um, um, Mainly flat? mountain, like um, some were steep, some were not, some were flat. The bit that you were on when you saw the animal, was it steep? Yeah, or? it was steep. Where I was, I was up top and then it went down to a steep, um, like a steep hill. Yeah. And then it went up again, and where I was, my horse left the whole pack for about five, six minutes. He left and he wouldn't move, and then he seen it, um, and it was over to my left that I seen it. And okay, it so you were on the trail? Yeah. And the trail was what, a le level area? Or? Yeah, it was level, and then all of a sudden it dropped and went down and curved. That was, that was the trail, or that was where you were looking over to where? No, 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 that was the trail. That was where everyone else went. Oh, okay. So you were, a bit, you, you were a bit separated from Yeah, people? I was, oh God, it, good. they were pretty much halfway up the hill, yeah, what, about 20, 30 metres in front of me. Mm. And he stood there, for, it seemed like forever that he stood there, the horse. He just stopped? Yeah, he just stopped, he wouldn't move. And then at that point that he stopped, I smelt like, um, like salty blood. Um, and it was really, like a really foul stench. Yeah. And then... Um, and you hadn't smelt that before up to that point? No. That was the first time I smelt it. And then about five or ten minutes later, we walked down the track. Mm -hmm. um, and then he took off on me, because something behind us broke. And it felt like someone was watching us. Um, and then something behind us broke, and he just took off. Tried to overtake um, my husband's horse and my mm -hmm. best friend's horse. And I couldn't pull him up. Because um, he'd just gone and I didn't have time to hang on. Okay, was this, so wait a second, this was after you saw it the first time? Yeah. Though. Okay, let's go back to that time that you saw it the first time. Yeah. So the horse had stopped and you looked over to your left and, and what was this thing was, was in a gap in the trees? Or, yeah. yeah. It, it was in it, where it was standing was it um, like open and grassy or just in, in amongst the trees? No, it was in amongst the trees, but it was like an open amongst the trees. Yeah, I know. There wasn't like a whole lot of trees. Yeah. But there was a little bit and he was just standing right there. And you could just like you could like peer at him. Mm. So it was quite clear and yeah, it was like, quite open. Like it seemed like me for like it seemed like an hour to me that I was watching him, mm. but it was only like two or three minutes, if that. So when you when you first saw the thing, what did you think you were looking at? I had no idea. Mm. I pretty much crapped my pants. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but it looked sort of like a monkey, but like more human. Yeah. Now you said that it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, the same size as a person, it was smaller? Yeah, a lot smaller to me. Um, a lot, like, um, about four foot. So, you, I mean, you're sitting down at the moment, but how high would it you It would have been about this high. Yeah. But it, uh, its shape was kind of like a human shape? Yeah, it was solid, like square shoulders, and it was pretty much like a square block. Yeah, so it was pretty solid looking thing. Yeah. And uh, it had uh, hair on it? Yep, it was a very hairy arm, um, black. Like dark brown, blacky yeah. hair, and it was like all tangled and um, like a shaggy dog hasn't been washed a while. Yeah. And mud all over it and stuff like that. Yeah. The um, the um, color was you, you told me the color. Uh, was it short or was it long hair? That was long hair. Yeah. Now when the animal, this thing was looking at you, and it, you, you saw a face. Yeah. And you said it looked like a monkey face. Yeah, it had like a pushed in nose. Like, like flat. A, yeah, like a baboon nose. And I distinctly remember two like canine teeth. That's all I remember. There's two canine teeth at the front of its face. What actually outside the lip? Yeah, outside the lip. Like you could see it. It was two canine teeth, like well presented. Yeah. And uh, did it have uh, long hair on its head, like everywhere else? Yeah, it had it everywhere. Um, yeah. I couldn't see its ears because like the long hair covered it, but yeah. it had long hair everywhere. Sure. Um, you saw eyes? Um, yes, but not distinctively. Yeah. And um, did it have a short neck or a long neck? No, it was... Well, you didn't notice no, more? No, it was average. Yeah. I um, didn't really take notice. Yeah, you saw arms? Yes. I seen arms and I only seen three fingers. Like, there could have been more, but at that point I only seen three fingers. Okay. Um, and the legs were long or short in, in comparison? No, they were long. Saw... Yeah, that, they were long. Yeah. Um, but he only had uh, like three claws on his feet. Now, that was quite a distance. How could you actually... No, he wasn't a quite distance from me then. The first time he wasn't, he was about uh, 10, 15 metres, if that. Really? Quite the first close? Time, yeah, the first time he was quite close. The second time that I... Well, when you, say ten, when you say close, he was what? As far as the front gate in the house here or closer? I oh, know, say out to the gate, out to the fence. That close? Yep, that close. And that's why I'm like, 
Well, that's only about um, 50 feet, 40 feet. Yeah, if that. Yeah, 30 feet. Because I stood there and I didn't want to move. Because I didn't, like, I just stood there. With so you were up high looking down, kind of, yeah. slightly down on Yeah, like he was on a, like, sort of on a slope, like down like there. Yeah. Because like, at the point the, the track went like that, but um, it sort of went, like, slower. But where they took went steeper. So it was sort of a slope. So he was sort of, like, below me. Okay, so you were, you could actually see down to, to its feet? Yeah. And I could when, see everything. Oh, okay. And, um, uh... It was standing there. Did it move any time no, during that period? it just stood there. It just stood there and looked at me. That's why I didn't want to move. Like, are you like sure? Uh, do you think? I mean, are you sure that it was alive? Was it? You know, you got a. It wasn't a stuff. Nobody put a stuff thing by the. No, there was no one else out there besides us. Yeah. Yeah, no, because all the other trails had come back. Yeah. So there was no one else out there. Okay, and uh, the so. It take me through, you're looking at it, and the horse has stopped. Was the horse looking in that direction, or just sort of no, just, no, he just, just stopped? he's looking like this, and he's just smelling like, like their noses, his nostrils are moving. Yeah. Like he was sneezing, and he's turned around to bite me, and I knew at that point that, like, something was wrong. And then as he's turned around to bite me, I've looked up, and I've seen it. Yeah. Like, at that point, because uh, I was looking around first, and I'm like, like, I smelt it really bad, and then where the smell was coming from, I looked, and it was right there. The, the um, the... So it didn't move while you were looking at it? No. And it didn't, um, uh, what w was it doing? Was it just standing with it? Did it have its hands up or hands down? No, it down? was just standing there, but it had something in its hand. Like in its other hand, it had something in it. That's, that's why I said it, I could only see three fingers. Oh, okay, because it was yeah, holding something. Yeah, it was holding something. something. When, when you say, three. okay, it was holding something, was it a small something or a big something? No, a big something, like it was dragging on the ground. Like a dead kangaroo, but smaller. Like a wallaby or something? Yeah, something like that. Is that like it looked like the tail or something? Um, no, it looked like flesh, just like um, like his skin something, and it was inside out, and it was flesh. Just so, yeah, just something. Yeah, something like like he'd eat something, like kangaroo or something like that. Yeah, and um, uh, so you stopped there looking at this thing. Yeah. How long were you looking at it for? It seemed like forever. It was probably only like um, two, three minutes. Is that five minutes? Yeah, it's that. Because okay. I wasn't, I wasn't very far behind him. I was probably about thirty meters behind him in the end. Yeah, oh, this is they'd separated out while yeah. you were still there. Because um, my friend and Brendan had were in the middle of the pack, but they were separated as well. But they're only five meters in front, like behind. And then the other, like the guide and all that was like five meters in front of them. And I was probably about 10, 15 meters. I was like pretty much the whole track behind them. Like this whole hill. Okay. What happened after that? I mean, you. The how did the horse start moving again, or what happened? Oh, I kicked it. Oh, okay. Kept kick, yeah, kept kicking him and kicking him, but I didn't want to move because I'm like, so I just like pretty much held on tight. Um, and we're going down the hill, so I'm leaning back and I'm looking for it, and I couldn't see it again. Um, and I'm just looking for it, and I kept smelling it, but I couldn't see it. Um, but it felt like it was watching me, so I, I like wanted to get as close to them as I could. So I'm walking down, and at that point, like we're going up the hill. You, you actually caught up back with yeah, the guys. Yeah, caught up then, yeah. Um, because the horse took this, um, like, took this track pretty quick, so I'm, like, trying to hang on for dear life, and, yeah, he's going pretty quick, and then all of a sudden, um, it, like, someone jumped on a branch behind us and snapped it, like, pretty much to scare us, and... Okay, but now this snapping, was it, you're going up the trail, was it on the left-hand side, or would it wind it around, or, like, you know, was it to, you, to the left track, or the right? No, it, it went down like that, and went up, and then it went around. Okay. And as we got up to the top of the hill, the branch broke behind us, on the track which was down um, and he's just gone he's tried to overtake my husband's horse and um, my friend's horse and the guide's horse but um, I tried to pull him I fell off at my friend's horse and as I've fallen off I've grabbed his reins and I've stopped I've pulled him down and I've stopped and I've come off and that's it and I don't remember pretty much after that I remember getting back on though and then it didn't happen till like another another half an hour so you were actually, you still kept going on the ride? Yeah. You were okay after you fell off that time? Um, yes and no. Oh. I just had a mad headache and that was it. And the, the trail rider, who, the guy didn't say go back, we should be going back? Uh, yes, you did, but I didn't want to go back. Because okay. I didn't want to wreck their day. Like mm. I've had like a fall before and I'm like, oh, I'll get over it. Yeah, yeah. So it was nothing major. But um, the second time it was. Um, so that was, the, that was the first time you came off? Yep. Yeah. And okay, so then the trail, so you kept going on the trail? Yeah, for like another half an hour before I come off again. 
So what happened that, that you know, you, you kept going, you just come off? Yeah, you, um, I was freaked the whole time. I just kept smelling this foul smell. You're, you're still going and there was, you think you came across the thing again? Yeah, um, the second time. This was more, like, this was pretty much right in front of us. Like, it was, uh, maybe to the door. Right, so it was 10, that, 10, 15 feet? Yeah, if that. Um, and my friend said, like, it moved past us. And we caught a glimpse of it and the smell, like we could smell it for ages. Been... So were you together with your friend at that yeah, time? Where was the trial all together. Leader? Um She was up front of us. She was about five, ten metres in front of us with the other girl. And we were all in a group, the three of us. And we're walking along, Brennan's in front, Sarah's in the middle and I'm at the back. I was always at the back, like, which was unusual for this horse. And I'm always at the back and all of a sudden, um, He's walked um, beside us, like jumped beside us, and Sarah said, "Oh, what the f was that?" And um, I've looked, and oh, we caught a glimpse of him then, but he was like sort of running, but like shot off. And then at that, so point, he was close by the trail. Yeah, running very beside close. the trail. Yeah, could you hear it as well? Or? Yeah, we could hear the branches breaking, but we just thought it was kangaroos because we'd seen kangaroos before, like around the track. So we just didn't think nothing of it. And as he's gone, like we were all here on the track, and he's gone beside us. Um, and run beside us, Sarah seen him, like jump, like sort of thing, oh what the F, and I've looked and I've seen, like I've just seen the back of him, or whatever it was, I've just seen the back of it, so, and that's it, and my horse took off at that point, um, it flew past um, Brendan's horse, my, uh, my friend's horse, um, it went up to pretty much the leader's horse, and at that point I've come off, and I've hit, I've like, sort of like nudged the tree and I've fallen off. And that's so, where you did most of the damage? Yeah. So, and show me the damage, that, that's all you did? Like uh, yeah, um, it's um, about from there to about here. It's all Blaze. open scab, like really oh. bad scab. Um, and all, all that, but it's pretty much pussed up and stuff. Oh, and nasty. My, yeah, um, fractured collarbone, two fractured ribs. Um, and my ankles are swollen and my legs are bruised. So, you came off and how did they, how did you get back to the... I had to... On his horse. Um, I had to get off my horse and... Put her on mine and I had to walk the trail. How long did it take to get back to the... Uh, it would have been about a, a good 10-15 minutes. minutes. You would have been in pretty much oh, pain? Was, yeah, I was trying not to cry but yeah, I was in pain there. So what happened when you got back to the place? Um, she went out on on his horse. On my horse too. To look for the other horse. Because the other horse had just took off and didn't come back. So he had just taken off. And, and what they basically say... The, um, tra the guy, she told us that he go back to Yeah, he'd um, come back straight away. That's what they usually do go back oh, yeah. to the camp. But, but he didn't, he didn't come back until the next morning yeah. when I rang up. And he was pretty free. Okay, now, um, so you went straight from there to the hospital? or? Um, no, I sat down for about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. I had a cigarette, had a glass of water um, and was talking. And I just remember I couldn't move and I couldn't breathe. Um, and then he got in the car. Um, and drove me to oh, Katoomba hospital. Yeah, hospital. And you stayed there for a while? Um, yeah, for a lot. Yeah. yeah, for about six or seven at night, and then I got, I'm not sure if it was. Yeah. Did you, um, oh, you got transferred to an opinion? Yeah. yeah. So and you CT scan and stuff like that. Um, well, now, when you got back, did, okay, back on the trail yeah. the second time, did you mention to the leader what, what you'd seen? No. Did you mention when you got back to the no. house? No. No. But, but you talked like, to your friend? Yeah, because I asked her, because like, we're pretty close, and I asked, I said, babe, did you see the same thing I did? She said, yeah, I seen like an ugly monkey looking thing, but it was more human. And I said, I seen the same thing. I said, she said, oh no, she said something about smell first. She said, um, that whole trail, I could not get this smell out of my, like, my mouth and my nose. She said, it's just stinky, like a disgusting flesh smell. And um, we asked him, and he said he smelt it um, when we seen it. Second time or the first time? No, the first time. Yeah. Wow. Now you called the place back the second time. Yeah, we called it back and we asked if the horse had come back because I was worried about the horse. Like, like I love horses. I was really worried about it. Um, and then she said no, he hasn't come back. And then, um, and then I ran back another half hour later. She said yeah, he's come back. No cuts or bruises, but he's really shaken up. We have to put him away. And I'm like, oh okay. And uh, horses that run off like that, um, they're not usually like really shaken. Mm. Like if someone comes off them, they 
they were right like the next day but he was like shaking us she said yeah she wasn't going to put anyone in for a while did you at that stage mention what you'd seen um yeah i said that we had a funny smell and i said look um i didn't want to seem like an idiot i said um when we were on the trail i said look my horse was at the back of the pack the whole time i said and we seemed like a monkey sort of thing um, and my horse was spooked and everyone else's um, horse was spooked. And I said, look, I'm a pretty experienced rider. And I said, I'm never ever scared. But I said, this time on this trail, I was scared, like scared to death. And she said, this has only ever happened once before on a 10 year, like about nine, eight years ago. She said, all my riders were experienced riders. They were all trail riders. And they'd come back and they were white as ghosts. She said, they'd seen the same thing and it's not the same thing that you're telling me. And that's why, that, that, at that point I dropped the phone and I was like, nearly started crying. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so thinking back, I mean, um, thinking back to Tuesday, how do you feel now about the whole thing? I mean, what, what do you... I'm more intrigued because I want to know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm trying to look up everything on the internet about it and mm. like more sightings and I'm like, oh my God. Mm. It's just, it's like excitement, but it's not because I was scared at the point. Like, I wouldn't want it to happen again. Mm. And I'm just like, oh wow, what is it, Barbara? Mm. I think yeah. I would have tried to go after before I actually. Yeah, his horse, at that point when we seen it first, his horse was going down the other trail where it was. My horse actually, yeah. Because there was two parts, there was like a kind of trail where she told me where it was. It went off here and my horse actually went towards it. Started going towards it. And because her horse kept, took off and come around mine. And mine tried to race him and then he backed off and tried to get that one. I had to reef his reins pulling back around this, this um, track to go around to the left and this track went straight down where he was supposedly at. Now when you saw it the second time, uh, you said it was running, was it running away? Or yeah, it was running away, like it was running beside us. Like we're like on a trail just going this way and he's like pretty much come beside us, like closest to the door and we've seen like Sarah jump, like cause she really jumped off her horse, she was that scared, she's like, oh shit, what was that, blah blah blah. And she's like, oh, that monkey thing again. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I didn't really take much notice, and, but it smelled disgusting. Like the smell, like it makes you sick. No, it's funny the leader never mentioned anything, or was it? That, that no, just... no, she said like even the girl said that she didn't say anything either. Oh, no. She didn't smell anything either. You, you just mentioned that uh, you were taking me through the map here, and you said. Uh, not only was it running behind you, but you think you got a sense of something jumping behind you? Yeah, it was like running behind, like jumped across the track. It must have jumped across the track. Oh, you didn't see it? But no, because you... I felt it, but I heard the branches break. At that oh, point, my right. horse took off, but I pulled him back. So he didn't take off at that point, like, do you know what I mean? Like, he didn't, like, so I didn't fall off. Um, but as we've come down, as I've come up the hill, my f it was Brendan, my friend, and me. Um, he's run beside us. Because we were here, he's run beside us, um, and my friends jumped, oh, what the hell was that, oh, that monkey thing, and I've looked and smelt it as well. At that point, my horse caught a glimpse of it, running through the trees, or running through the, like, the, whatever. And, and it was running up this side of the Yeah, track. it was running up this side, and he went this way. He went to the right side. Oh, your horse did? No, 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 the, no, the, the, thing. the, the thing went the right side. You, what, you could still hear it, or? Yeah, you could hear the branches breaking clearly. Um, and at that point, my horse has gone to take off, gone to the left, like straight past his horse. That's pretty much cut all the other horses off, and he's taken off. I couldn't hold on because I hit a tree. Um, my elbow, um, no, my shoulder up, nuts a tree. And I've come off, and I've hit the ground really bad. Um, but at that point, um, Brendan's horse. Thanks, Catherine, for having the strength to speak out. Interesting point about the canine teeth being prominent. Next, Paul interviews Catherine's friend, Sarah. Who was the third in line and saw the Jinjari from a different angle? Cool. And you, um, so you were in, in the group when, 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 um, when you first started to ride out. You were, yeah. you were actually what third in the line of five people, or you yeah. were that yeah. third? Uh, it went the two instructors, me, Brendan, then Kate. Her horse stopped up the top, but prior to that, like we went around this corner and something moved and I went whoa like that and then there was like this thing there but I thought I was over exaggerating so I didn't oh, say yeah. nothing and then she, we finished the track and then Kate said um, did you see that and I'm like see what and then she said it I'm like yeah I seen it I said I didn't want to say nothing because I might have sounded stupid yeah but yeah when Kate saw it the first time 
you had no idea there was anything was going on. No, no, no. I seen it the second time. Okay. Now, you did you smell anything before that? Or? Like dried blood, sort of. Stuff. Was this before you actually saw it? Yeah, that was before I seen it. But then I thought, oh yeah, because like the horses were peeing everywhere. And I thought so it was you thought just it was just that. a strange smell, but yeah. it was odd. Was it yeah. weird? Yeah, very odd. So you're riding along and and. Um, and then what, you heard something or saw something first? Or I was riding and Brendan, was, at this time, Brendan was in front of me and then it went me and Kate and um, like something moved and I went, whoa. And then Brendan turned around and Kate goes, did you see that? I'm like, yeah, I've seen it. So you were, so what was the bush like yeah. on either side? Um, like it was just like trees and then we were going across rocks, but there was like little bushes here and there. And um, like, Brendan heard her, I think that's why he turned around, and then I'm like, whoa, on my horse, and then um, Kate goes, did you say that? I'm like, yeah, I see now, now, so what, this thing was, how close to, to you, what was it? Um, yeah, five, about in between five and ten metres away. So pretty close. Yeah. And um, did you I was you trying to keep first? my horse to go, I was oh, like, really? go! Was did you hear it first or see it first? I um, heard it first. And it was like it, a little scruffle in a bush. And then I seen it, and then I'm like, whoa. And what was it doing when you saw it? Like, Just glaring it? at me. Just glaring. So you saw it sort of face on? Yeah, sort of like, it looks like a, I don't know, monkey, for, uh, sort of like ape sort of thing. Uh, now, hairy. It, it, you mentioned it was running. Did you see it first and then it moved off, or what did it do? Uh, no, like, it's scruffing in the bush, and then I've looked, and like, I went white and Kate's like, did you see that? I'm like, yeah. And then like, it just stared at me and then it just ran. Like it just like, Did it run went. quickly? Um, I don't know, my adrenaline was going too quick. I was just trying to get away from it. Oh, okay, so it was um, glaring at you. Yeah. When you say glaring, you think it was actually kind of had an angry look on its face or? Yeah, like it was real scary. I haven't never seen it before. Yeah, so. was it, um, was it big or small thing? Oh, it was medium. Like it wasn't, it wasn't big, but it wasn't small. Like, like if you were put it, say the height next to you here. Yeah, about that. Yeah, about, about that big. Um, and what sort of colour was it? I mean, like a dark browny, blacky sort of coloured look at it. Was it? Was it? So there was hair. It had hair. Yeah, it had hair on it. <laughs> was it? Um, was it smoothly, you know, like a dog hair or wild? No, it was all fuzzy sort of looking, long dread sort of. What, tangled or like dreadlocks or something? No, 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 it wasn't tangled. It was just like, you could tell that it had heaps of hair on it. Like yeah. And was it like solid or was it thin, you know, like a thin? No, it was medium. Okay. Like so. it wasn't big and it wasn't little. Yeah. Um, but it was scary. And it was glaring, so you saw eyes as well? Glared, and then, oh, I was trying to keep my horse to get out of there. <laughs> I was yeah. like, get away from it. <laughs> I'm like, quick. And, and, and what, it's, it appeared more like, like... Like a person or like a like a monkey? Yeah, it was just like it just popped out, looks at you, and then takes off. Oh, so it popped out from behind some bushes? Or? No, because like you had the bush, you heard it, and then it like pops out, and then like it glared at you, and then it just takes off. <laughs> <laughs> That's Crazy. a bit scary. Um, it was like a, oh no. Was it, in hair, it had hair like all over it? Um, what i seen, yeah. I was just trying to get out of there too, because I didn't want to look at it anymore. I'm like... Hey, whoa, 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 let's go. So, yeah. And you, when you're looking at it, you still could smell that smell? Yeah, but like... You weren't thinking about it, probably no. thinking about what you were looking at. Yeah. So. I was just trying to get out of there, I guess. So, as soon as you saw it, and it sort of... I was kicking mood, my horse, like, horse to go, 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 go. He's took off, then mine took off, and then Kate's was after us. And you, you just said... You just went, what was that? Or do you remember what no, you no, said? No, 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 Kate goes, did you say that? And I'm like, yeah. And like, at that point when you said it, you said, oh, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to swear on the camera, Kate. No, that's right, that's right, that's right <laughs> Yeah, but no, nah, I did. I like, it, it scruffled and Brendan looked and then I looked at Kate and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm just trying to get out of there. I was so scared. And then, yeah. And then, um, so you... You, you talked together on the way back about what you'd seen or not until you got back? No, she didn't say anything until we got back. Like, I didn't want to say nothing because I didn't want to sound stupid. The time you'd seen it? i seen it once and then she's like, yeah, I've seen it twice. And I'm like, where did you see it? And it's like it was trying to target us. Like it was trying to follow us sort of thing. Yeah. Like, if she's seen it twice, then I've seen it once. It must have been following us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so if you think back, do you think it was like a... Like an animal or a person, or is it hard to tell? Half human, I reckon. 
Really? It looks the thing, you reckon? It's more like cavemen. Yeah, like half human, half animal. Like real hairy, but like a human sort of looking thing, yeah. isn't it? And you saw, um, when, when it popped out, you just saw the head and the face, or you saw the whole body? No, 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 I saw the head and like, a, say probably up to here, and because like, it just looks like, you know... Did it look from behind a tree or something, or was it a... It was like a little bush when I seen it. You know how the, the bush scuffled? Yeah. And I said, did you, do you know? And then you're like, yeah. I'm like, cool. You know, Where did you see it? I seen it. It was like an open, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was like there was like many trees. There was. No. I seen it when the bush moved, like when he looked at me, and then I looked at you and said, "Yeah." <laughs> that was the bush bit, but she probably seen it behind the tree. Yeah. Like, I don't know where she, when she seen it. Now, you, there's kind of um, the you drew a sketch and you got teeth. I mean, did you see that or like I mean or? Well, they were just there. You mean it sort of had the... They were there. You could not miss them. They were like two hand on teeth. <laughs> it was like, um, you know... Like what? a werewolf or something. Yeah. Or... yeah like, they were they just there. Like you, they, could uh, you could not miss them. Serious. They were just there. The, 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 the... They're, they're there. Yeah, they're there. They're there. We're just <laughs> there. Teeth. Yeah. We're just there. That's you could the see That's the thing you notice first. Like you've seen it and then you notice the teeth quite straight away. Oh, well, on its mouth, I mean, you know... I don't know, I, the thing I'm thinking of is like you see a vampire film sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's and exactly what it's like. Exactly. But these actually came down, like they, did they come down a fair way down the face or only just the tips yeah, or a little that bit? Much, hey? yeah, that much, eh? That's a long that's, way. Yeah. So you notice that as soon as you've seen it, you're like, oh, the teeth. You've seen it first and you're like, oh, the teeth. Yeah, it's like, is this going to eat me? Yeah. I better get so, out of here. You start kicking your horse trying to get out of there. Did it look, I mean, did it look kind of, you know, you see an animal in the street, you see a dog in the street, I mean, it's an animal, but looking at this, did you get that? No, I, I just got, well, this, this father's going to eat me, I'm getting out of here, not like, oh, even though it was a dog. little, like you actually felt it kind of was scary, even yeah. though it was little? Yeah, my adrenaline went, Phew. I was like trying to get out of there, I reckon I could have run quicker than the horse, seriously, <laughs> I reckon, if I would have got off the horse, mate, I would have run quicker than it. Uh, was there anything else in terms of what you saw? I mean, you actually got, um, you know, thinking back, it, it had a, it had like a... I of, focused on the mouth more. Yeah. The mouth was my main bit, like, well, this is going to eat me, I'm getting out of here. Did it have its mouth open or closed, or like... Did you, did you I mean, yeah, like... Not just the normal... Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, like, half, yeah. Well, normal for that, but like, say half like... Only a couple of days after the interview, Paul Cropper and Mike Williams returned to the location to replicate riding the track where the girls had their sighting. The horses were calm until they reached the downhill track of the sighting, with one of the horses becoming anxious, sitting down and refusing to go any further. To learn more about sightings in that area, go to yowiehunters.com, then New South Wales, or to our witness audio reports to watch the videos. Thanks for listening.